Hello, everybody. Welcome to ABC Interactive English. I'm Shane. And I'm Karen. Today we're looking at a lesson in Part A called "You Seem Different." You noticed? What? I'm just reading the title of the lesson.、But、you said you seem different. There is something different about me. Can you tell what's different about me? Ah,、uh, let me take a look. I don't really see anything I'll, different. I'll give you a hint. Okay. Something is different about the upper part of my body. Ah,、uh, did you get a new shirt? That's a new shirt. Well. Okay, you are okay. You're pretty observant because you notice there was a new shirt, but、uh-huh. that's not what I'm talking about.、Mm, you got some wrinkles? No. <laughs> Sorry. No, Or, I already、uh, had some wrinkles. <laughs> uh, did you get a pimple on your face? No. Your hair. Yeah, I got a haircut. You got a haircut. <gasps> How can I miss it? You look great, and you look really different. No, for you. Okay, I have to admit, I am not very observant, which means I don't really notice little changes. Yeah, I guess it's not a big change because I had short hair before,、mm-hmm. and it's still short, but. Well, if you come here with green hair, then I'll definitely notice. You'll say, "Oh, something seems different." <laughs> That's right. Okay. But well, we are talking about some people who are quite observant. They notice little things about their friends today. Oh, you're talking about Bonnie and Clyde. I am. And the conversation they're going to have. Bingo. Okay, let's take a look at the conversation. All right. Bonnie and Clyde are talking about a friend of theirs. How was your dinner with Nathan? It was okay, but he appeared nervous about something. He also seemed that way when I last saw him, and he sounded a bit scared. Okay, so this is part A of you. Seem different,、mm. and like I said, we're going to be looking at a conversation or a dialogue between Bonnie and Clyde. So, Bonnie and Clyde are talking about a friend of theirs. Ah, maybe they notice something about their friend,、mm-hmm. right? So I will be Bonnie, and you can be Clyde. Sounds good. Okay, so Bonnie starts off by saying. How was your dinner with Nathan? So Nathan is the name of their friend, right? How was your dinner? Did it go well? Was it a nice, pleasant dinner? Did、that's, you have fun? That's right. Okay. So Clyde says it was okay, but he appeared nervous about something. Hmm. He appeared nervous. So to appear. That is a verb. It just means to look or seem a certain way. So he appeared nervous. Just means he looked nervous,、mm. right? So, for example, Shane appears to be happy. Yeah, I am so happy to be here teaching you this lesson. That's right. So, what's nervous? Okay, so if you're nervous, that means you are afraid、mm-hmm. or Anxious about something.、Mm. So, for example, you could say Tina was nervous about her test. <gasps> she's scared. She's not sure if she will do well on the test.、Yeah. She's not very confident, right? Ooh, she doesn't know if it's going to be difficult or if she prepared enough.、Mm-hmm. So she's quite anxious about that. Well, when do you usually get nervous? Uh, sometimes I get nervous when I'm teaching. Oh, yeah. If it's a new class, 
That's right. And you don't know any of the students.、I、will be a little bit nervous because I don't know: Are they going to behave well? <laughs> will they talk? Are they just going to be very quiet?、Mm. Are they going to fall asleep? Oh, I'm very nervous about that.、Mm, okay. So Bonnie then says he also seemed that way when I last saw him, and he sounded a bit scared. Okay, so Bonnie actually felt the same way too. So last time she was with Nathan. So last, that is an adverb. It just means most recently. So for example, when I last exercised, I hurt my foot. But not, you know, like a week ago. But it's like last time I exercised.、Right. Maybe it was like this morning. That was the last time I exercised, and I hurt my foot. Okay. okay so, so the last time she saw him, he seemed scared. That's right. A bit scared. I wonder why Nathan seemed nervous and scared. Yeah, you wonder if maybe something happened,、mm. oh, yeah. or maybe he's starting like a new job or something. Well, how about you? If you appear to be something's different about you, and you look nervous or afraid, what kind of things would you be nervous or afraid about? Well, like you said, like teaching a new class will sometimes make me nervous as well. Or maybe when I am speaking in front of a large group of people,、yeah. and I might get really, really nervous, and I might forget what I have to say. Yeah, if you have to give a speech. And stand in front of a big crowd. Uh huh. I think almost everybody would feel nervous in that situation, and if you look at them, you could probably see it on their face. Exactly. It's very obvious. So I think one thing that I do to help myself is to prepare as、mm. much as possible. So then I will feel more ready. I would still get nervous, but it makes me feel a bit. Better. Okay. Well, why don't we take a break and find out what happens with Bonnie, Clyde, and Nathan? Great idea. Okay. I was worried about him, so I asked him about it. Really? Was he open to that? No, he wasn't. In fact, he started to get angry, and his face went really red. That sounds surprising. So, what did you do? I apologized and told him to forget that I said anything. Welcome back, everyone. Hello. So, before the break, we were looking at this dialogue between Bonnie and Clyde, and they were talking about a mutual friend of theirs, Nathan, and both of them seemed a little bit worried、Ooh. about Nathan because Nathan seemed nervous and also a little bit scared、yeah. about something. But they don't know why. Yeah, something just seems weird about him. Poor guy. I hope、mm-hmm. he's okay. No. All right. So let's find out what else Clyde and Bonnie did. Okay.、Mm-hmm. So Clyde says, "I was worried about him, so I asked him about it." Okay. Well, if I were a friend, I would also ask my friend if. I notice that makes something、sense. is wrong. Yeah, of course. If your friend seems different, you want to find out what is different. What happened?、Mm-hmm. And then Bonnie says, "Really? Was he open to that? Huh? What does it mean when I say was he open to that? I mean, it's not like." Opening a door, <laughs> yeah, right? Different, yeah. So, open here is an adjective. It just means that you're willing to listen or talk or think about 
something.、Mm. It could be like a new idea or just something that like I I say to you. Or if you're open to it, it means you're willing to talk about it.、Mm-hmm. So, for example, he was open. To suggestions. Ah, so other people who are giving him suggestions, he's willing to take them in、yes. and maybe make some changes, right? Right. Okay. So what does Clyde say now? Clyde says no, he wasn't. So he wasn't open.、Mm-hmm. In fact, he started to get angry. Uh oh. And his face went really. Red. <gasps> oh no! Yeah, because you know when you get angry, your face will go red or、mm-hmm. get red. And Bonnie says that sounds surprising. Okay, if something sounds surprising, that means it's not what you would expect.、Mm-hmm. Maybe Nathan does not usually act like that. Usually, when he's worried or nervous, people ask him, "Hey, are you okay?" He maybe usually would talk about it,、mm-hmm. but no, he didn't talk about it. He got angry. His face went red, so it was surprising. And then Bonnie says, "So, what did you do?" Okay. So Clyde says, "I apologized and told him." To forget that I said anything. Ah, apologized. What does that mean when you say apologized? Right. So to apologize means to say that you are sorry for doing something wrong、mm-hmm. or for causing some kind of problem.、Mm. So, for example, you could say, "Karen apologized for stepping on my foot." I'm sorry. Well, it hurt. Yeah. Thank you for your apology. Hmm. Okay. So I wonder what's wrong with Nathan.、Mm. Right.、Yeah. If something is wrong with you,、yeah. and your friend comes over and asks you about it, say, "Are you okay? What is wrong?" Would you get angry? And would your face go all red? Yeah, I think it depends on what is wrong. But I think if my friend shows concern、mm-hmm. for me, I will feel very touched. Exactly. I feel wow, my per- my friend really cares about me,、mm-hmm. and I think that I would probably be open to that.、Mm-hmm. Uh, how about you? Well, I think I would be touched and moved as well because I know that my friends care about me. But if my friend, you know, reacted the same way as Nathan,、Ooh. maybe they get angry when I show that I care about them. Maybe I know that there's something wrong. I would probably go and give them a hug. Oh, okay.、Mm. Yeah, I guess you don't want to push them. Too much because if somebody's not happy, sometimes you just don't want to talk about it. Exactly.、Right? So just give them time until they are ready. Okay. All right. Well, that's all the time we have for today, but we will see you in the next part. All right. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. Bonnie and Clyde are talking about a friend of theirs. How was your dinner with Nathan? It was okay, but he appeared nervous about something. He also seemed that way when I last saw him, and he sounded a bit scared. I was worried about him, so I asked him about it. Really? Was he open to that? No, he wasn't. In fact. He started to get angry, and his face went really red. That sounds surprising. So, what did you do? I apologized and told him to forget that I said anything.
Hi, I'm Tina. 我们来看这一课的重点单词。第一个 nervous, nervous 形容词，紧张不安的。I was very nervous during the test. 我考试时非常紧张。下一个单词 last, last 副词，上一次。When did you last watch a movie? 你上一次看电影是什么时候 ？Last 也可以当形容词，意思是最后的。Today is the last day of this semester. 今天是这个学期的最后一天。下一个单词 open open 形容词，坦诚的，坦率的。Nick is very open about his weaknesses. Nick 对于自己的弱点毫不隐瞒。Weakness 指的是弱点。最后一个单词 surprising surprising 形容词，出乎意料的。It's not surprising that Jack quit the job. Jack 辞职并不出乎意料。接着我们来看重点文法。第一个 ，A is worried about B. A 担心 B. Worried 是一个形容词，表示忧虑的、发愁的。我们来看看这个例句。Zach is worried about his future. Zach 担心他的未来。下一个文法 ，In fact， 事实上，其实。这是一个副词片语，也可以说 in truth. Fact 是名词，表示事实、真实的情况这个意思。我们来看看这个例句。Mia is not close to her mother. In fact, she doesn't talk to her mother. Mia 跟她的妈妈并不亲近。事实上，她不和她妈妈说话。最后一个文法。Somebody forgets that 加主词加动词，某人忘记 that。引导的子句是 forget 的受词，这里 that 可以省略。forget 的三态是 forget, forgot, forgot， 也可以是 forget, forgot, forgotten。我们来看看这个例句。Vanessa forgot that she needs to attend the meeting tomorrow. Vanessa 忘记了明天需要参加会议。以上就是这一课的重点单词跟文法，回去记得复习哦。我们下一课再见，拜拜。Here's how to play. The host will be holding three cards. Each card will have two sentences containing a secret vocabulary word or phrase that has been replaced by the word bear. The host will read the sentences out loud for the contestants to guess. Whoever guesses first gets a point. The person with the most points wins, and you can play along too. Hi, everybody. Today we're going to play Guess the Bear. I'm Carolyn. I'm Stephen. I'm Josh. Okay, let's get started. All right. All right. Our first one is one word, and it's a noun.、Mm. Here's a bear for hiking. Always bring a compass. Mary is always around to give bears to beginners. Directions.、Uh, advice. Advice.、Mm. Again.、Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a bear for hiking. Always bring a compass. Mary is always around to give bears to beginners. Pointers. Plans.、Uh, sim. Sim.、Um, signs. She's always giving advice. advice. No. Very close.、Uh, pointers. Advice. A route. Route. <laughs> Path. Something like advice. Something like pointers. <laughs> like I'm gonna give you some time. Some stats. Here's a pointers. Here's okay. A I'm going to plan, save you. Plan. The word was tip. Oh. Here's a tip <laughs> for hiking. Always bring a compass.、Oh. The second、That's、sentence. That's a good tip. Mary is always around to give tips to beginners. All right. Let's move on to、okay. the next one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's one word and it's a verb. Okay.、Mm. Grace bared the carrot in half.、Mm. Fran used a knife to bare the rope. Cut. Yes, cut. I'll read the sentences. Grace cut the carrot in half. Fran used a knife to cut the rope. Yeah. Okay. All right. And let's move on to the last one. Sure. It's a phrase and it's two words. Okay. We're waiting at the station to bear bear the train. Nick bared bear the bus and went into the city. Jumped on. Got on. 
Yes. Yeah. 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 So it's uh, get on is the present tense and then got on is the past tense. So I'll read both sentences. Mm. We are waiting at the station to get on the train. Nick got on the bus and went into the city. Mm. Okay, so there was a tie. Yeah. One point yeah. for each of you. <laughs> We're all winners. Yeah, the yeah, first yeah. one was so, yeah, <laughs> so was hard like, not to help right. you. We were, we're so like close. dancing around it.